What's going on guys? It's Pete from PeteIsup.com. I'm here at day 66 and I'm hanging out doing an earlier video. Not too early, but it's like uh, almost dinner time. Just finished cooking dinner. Um, today was a great family day. Um, did a lot of stuff waking up early in the morning to take care of these guys. I don't know if you watch my Facebook or it looked like a fucking massacre of diary and throw up inside my living room and dining room uh, yesterday morning. So a lot of stuff like I, I talked about yesterday threw me off. You know, I was really concerned about their health. I was really concerned about what the hell's going on. I'm not sure if you know my story with uh, Shannon. Shannon was was my tattoo on my chest. That was my first dog. If you guys want to know who Shannon is, that was my first dog. And I watched her go through a period of being older and aging and being in pain and diarrhea and urine all over the place is one of the signs of them getting old. And uh, it just kind of triggered me the wrong way where I got really scared. You know, I got concerned with what was going on. I, you know, obviously the inevitable happens. It's something you can't stop. Life is born and then afterwards you die. Like, I get it. But there's something that just doesn't, it just didn't feel right when it happened. And I'm actually very happy and grateful that it's just an infection, you know, that uh, sea bass and right now even Switch, <laughs> who just started having diarrhea today, um, is going through something. But I went to the vet, um, got some medicine for them, and hopefully it rides it out. If not, you know, it moves on to the next step. But they're at that age where it's, you know, it's scary. It's something you want to think about. So today, after thinking about it, I just want to make sure I am enjoying my time with them. You know, so I woke up super early on a Sunday morning, not super early, but you know, early enough, five something, and I went for a walk with them around 6.30 in New York City, we're in the Lower East Side, and uh, went down towards the water, and I uh, walked them for an hour. Enjoyed the entire time with them, we Snapchatted, we Instagrammed, we hung out. We made YouTube videos for How to Train for Mud Runs, we did everything we could do, and uh, they enjoyed it, and then after that, I picked up Phoenix and my wife, finished feeding him, got him ready, and went to Brooklyn Park. We went to the Brooklyn uh, High Line, we hung out there. Again, they walked with us. Um, Phoenix walked with us, my wife walked with us. We got Liz Lemonade. If you guys don't know what Liz Lemonade is, it was a lemonade, fresh lemonade that was uh, we had at our wedding. And um, we enjoyed that thoroughly. We stayed there for about another hour and a half, two hours, and finally made it home. Then once I got home, I dropped them off, did what I gotta do, and there was my brother's birthday, or it's my brother's birthday, yet tomorrow, but we hung out at uh, Shannon Rose. I stayed for like a little bit, then I left, because you know, got shit to do, I gotta cook dinner, I gotta take care of my fams. So, today was a big family day for me, and I was very happy, and I appreciate every minute that I had, you know. As the things, like I have things tattooed all over me and everything has meaning. And Shannon is just one thing that was very tough for me to handle, which is why I got Shannon on my chest. I would have got it on my face and my eyeball because I really wanted to distract or not distract, deflect the pain of losing her to me, you know, and I'm a very destructive person. That's who I was, you know, and at that time. And I like pain. Like, it's just something that, that makes me feel better because it deflects, it deflects reality, right? And you don't want to say that you were a cutter or I was a cutter, but there are times that I did that too, you know? It just, the pain, physical pain sometimes is so much fucking easier than emotional pain, you know? But I, I obviously tend not to do that anymore and I just deal with the reality as it is. But it was just very scary. So today I focused, and my main focus was to hang out with my fam and make sure that I appreciate every minute, second, week, day that I have with them. And that was today. So speaking of that, now that I'm walking, we're just hanging out right now. This is called meditative time. We sit here and relax. These guys have diarrhea. They're really, really upset. But uh, let's do what you got to do. So I'll see you guys later. This is Pete, day 66. And uh, subscribe up, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, guys.